That's something. And there's an old man right there in Dakota. FNG playing the um, Witch Doctor. Can I just point out, we have nine heroes that were not in the last game. And for Gaming Gladiators, the only repeat hero from the last game is the Gyro, which is being played five by Celery this game. Last game it was Carry. That's right. Oh, a nice task side. into a Blood Grenade. As the toss comes out onto Tofu, who's going to die first? It's noticed. Dorachio will get the first oh, blood. And Tofu is actually living in Squadix. He pops his Fairy Fire, but still dies. So very good start for Gaiman. The Witch Doctor Maledict damage is too slow. Unless he has high levels in it, he didn't even skill it. So, yeah, so Celery making his rotation over here to try to kill off FNG. Gets up a really nice cask, but will likely be taken out. But the Avalanche coming in from the Tiny. Make him worried for it. Delay it a bit. FNG continuing to heal. Flame break back into the waiting arms of Celery. Even if the plays and the communication isn't always up to snuff, you can still see wonderful drafts coming out from them, and they've They've really solved some problems quite effectively here. FNG is in massive trouble here. Yep, Flame Break with the slow of the hammer. Cask actually will bounce appropriately, but then it goes on to the small camp. But Tofu getting gone on his squad. X making his rotation over. Needs this. Won't get it. Made a patch note for it and said, that's good enough. New players will figure it out eventually. Yep, that's right. There you go. All right, here comes Duracho. He will break the smoke. Yep, Sayush. Chronosphere on top and that's the Death Ward. Big kill. For VP, but they need like five of those. Yep. It's a good start. Blink now. Can we get a replay on that? What happens to Spark when the Chrono ends? Where does the corpse go? He died midair. Well, Malefice. Okay. Into the black hole. Avalanche as well. Solar Guardian. Here comes Ace. Mostly dodge, but you be able to get the lasso connection onto Sayush as Quinn is there to burn him down. Trying to get healed up by FNG. Not going to be enough, though. He's actually going to time walk in. Does Kiritich. As a triple kill for Squad X. That is a very unexpected team fight win for VP. Great result. Wow. Not, it wasn't squirt, but that's the only word I can think of. What? <laughs> the guy's name that was the side shop guy. Squirtle? No. Gotta go with squirt. <laughs> Gyro is Thomas dead. On the celery. Maledict applied. Down goes the gyrocopter. Curious is actually time walking in for that one. He was definitely dead. I mean, that is pretty hard to find. That's years old. Oh, it's it's Quirt and Sithil. So I just combined them into Squirt. It makes sense now. It's Duraccio going in deep. FNG was the initial target, but now they find Kitterich. He's taking a ton of damage, but the black hole comes in onto three heroes into no damage at all. And Game and Gladiators completely destroying this fight. As three are dead for the side of VP, uh, and it'll be a fourth oh. very shortly. Another stack for Duraccio, and now this lead has ballooned to 12k. And I was one letter off of Squirt for the side shot, man. As Sayuch he is will be gone on, taunted up by Quinn, and drops. FNG won't follow the same speed. Very close. You Let's remind ourselves. We'll see if they. Okay, we'll see if they've learned their lesson. Okay, Squadix. Oh, we got the black hole, but here's the Solar Guardian. Not gonna use it to stun initially, but no damage is really done to Duraccio, so noticed. Drops to the deck, FNG uses that shard. Doing a good amount of damage. The Coil is there as well as the Chronosphere as they delete <laughs> the Dawnbreaker. She dies off screen somehow. Bash is there, Duraccio actually ends up falling as well. Right, mm -hmm. it's just so difficult to engage with confidence. Squadix will break a smoke and swiftly die. Solar Guardian coming in with the Chronosphere on top. That means a lot of evasion now. As Kiritich won't now. be able to come through. His notice coming with the BKB gets the black hole off. Celery with the call down, but you can see no damage being done by VP. Honestly, might just call it here. This is very much out of hand. Sayush the only one to be able to get out. No. Okay, I'm just going to go out and limit. Would be, it would be on the left. Yeah, the le scroll the left bar. Okay, oh, we have a bit Sayush of a... oh, okay. wants to get to... in there to try to steal the Aegis. Good attempt. Won't happen, so I we'll think... continue discussing the banner. Oh, there. oh, that's a new one. I think he <laughs> wanted to steal the banner, actually. I think that's why. <laughs> Gaming continues to just I'll get crazy items. Attention. Initiation from Tofu, finding FNG. That's the banner. Yeah, very strong. These creeps are... Oh. <laughs> That would be so fitting, actually, as oh, life hello. break. Okay, forcing the BKB out of Quinn. The Tiny's dead. Does have buyback, though. Call down. Going to prevent any shenanigans from VP to get aggressive here. It's Quinn. Okay, Maledict is still on him, but looks like he is A-OK. -okay. 
That's that second life worst case anyway. Yeah, okay, that's the second lane that they didn't really do anything. What are they going to do in the third lane? Now, the biggest lane from gaming here would be to go back and wait for next Roche. It's just be like, <laughs> you guys just waited. Oh, they find the lasso. Oh, boy. But oh. the black hole coming in from Notice. The Solar Guardian to try to counter Kiritich will live. Notice not so much. Have we seen the Death Ward yet? We oh, did. Okay, he died. He Great. He, did, he, he was channeling did it a for lot. five seconds. Celery with the fuck you BKB as a support gyro. He's pushing. He's killing He's the barracks. He's going to get this. the Mega Creeps. Kiritich can't even do anything about it. Mega Creeps for Gaiman. Imagine if they had double banner right now. Oh. You'd have double Gaben Creeps. That's double chin Gaben True. Creeps. Okay. Up. Oh, Chronosphere is placed. Flame break. Not going to save the old Slark and Malarkey, so Duraccio will die, but... The power play here is killing him and then typing GG. <laughs> yeah, uh, still... I think everyone watching was hoping that would happen. They're still in it and hit a couple of times. Okay, those ones are not Gaben Creeps, as you can see, quite pitiful under. Mega Creeps. Break. Here are the Gaben Creeps coming in with Quinn backing them up. And that's two Tier 4s dead. Kiritich jumps in, jumps out. Coil is expended on the sideline. Wind Waker to counter one. And Celery is going to be A-OK -okay as well. The defense being mounted by VP, not sure what their strat is. I don't think that dragon inside the Ancient will actually come out. That's probably the only thing that will save him here. They're going to try to toss out onto Huskar. Quinn actually targeted by the Fountain temporarily. There's the Maledict with the counter initiation on the Tiny. Uh, Quinn is fine as Kiritich pops his BKB, gets the Chrono off, but it does not hit on Quinn. And now the Solar Guardian is there to counter it yet again. Feels like this Huskar and Dawnbreaker have just countered VP so hard. Notice comes in with the Black Hole and does about zero damage as GG's are finally called. Gaben Creep still undefeated. And we're going to a third tiebreaker game between OG and VP. They could also spice things up. I'm okay with something like a Wind Ranger here. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I love this Primal Beast. It solves the Enchantress problem and the Nature's Prophet problem. I mean, you're from NA. You shouldn't be good at math, so it's kind of kind of weird, honestly. Some would doubt that I am good at math in the first place. Oh, okay. Yeah, you could be making up those numbers. <laughs> That's true. No. You would just believe me. That's right. I would, of course. You are also from NA, so... Yes, <laughs> unfortunately, No one is here to check us on this. Uh, well, you on can this check part. my body weight. That will pretty much tell the tale right there. <laughs> As noticed, he's playing the DK, the off lane this time. As we see Sayush come in with the Blood Grenade TP. Whisper taking the brunt of the damage. FNG will fall Ooh. first, though. So Ari gets first blood as Whisper. Oh, the Torrent hits, actually. Kiritich oh does my die. God. And he dies first. So Whisper gets the much-needed XP. So I'm saying, I don't know how much they paid for Whisper, but it was definitely worth it. Yeah, this guy sure. is so good. Meanwhile, Notice dies kind of a recovery moment where uh, OG's had a rough year for a while, and now Whisper's about to have a rough lane. Yeah, Boat's coming. Provides him with the buff as nope, a Titch. We'll be going on. Looks like Whisper in the trees will be surrounded. Seb is here. The torrent hits along with the oh. impale onto two. Kiritich has to back away now as BZM kind of trying to catch up to him, but the stun is there from the Centaur Courser again. As Whisper, x backs FNG. Tomato even making his way over here. All right, Impale actually connects as well. So Sayuch is dead. Sheep will cancel the TP, and that'll be the death of FNG. So OG with very nice rotations here. What do you think it's stack on someone's head during Impale? You can turn, make your own Mega Meepo. Kiritich getting on him from the trees. Seb is there, Torrent connects, and Whisper able to finish the job. Man, he just hasn't been doing any morphing. This is the second death now where he, he got caught without morphing. And Whisper eventually will pay a price, but it's well worth it, I'm sure. On the OG side, as we can see the pulverize from BZM. Find the target on a notice who's also surrounded by a couple more members of OG. So both offlaners end up dying around the same time here. Yeah, great rotation. Oh my no god! No way! Oh, Seb! A surprise level six. It was a very early level six for him, and he's taking full advantage. Dude, that is... As VP will apply some pressure to this tier one. They find BZM. The ult comes out from the Nature's Prophet. That's the death of the Primal Beast. That ward right there below where the Nature's Prophet was, spotting everything perfectly, giving them that great setup. I'm that ETP trying to kill the Nature... or tried to kill in, uh, the Primal Beast. Karatech. Well, early attribute shift. Sharpshooter's coming. Tomato is here. Doesn't have Eclipse. I'm not sure if they're going to have the damage to rip through them. We'll see. Waveform is available onto the other side of the tree line. 
Acorn Shot gives a little bit of vision, and it actually will be enough. So Kiritic dies again. Because he opted for a lot more adaptive strikes, so great rundown and kill. Action doesn't yep. stop. Whisper gets off the boat. Doesn't really have any follow-up, though, as FNG showing. Oh, my God. Tybring actually deletes all his creeps. And now FNG. Nice searing <laughs> chains. Actually, the Pulverize only procs half of a little upswing from him. Is the Finger of Death coming in from Seb to delete Squadix. And now Notice completely out of mana. Brought back by Seb and company. It looks like that's the death of the Dragonite. So three dead for VP. Go and do wild things on their own while playing safe. Like sometimes he does, but I, the fact I think he's just been fitting in really good with OG here. Really impressed with this playstyle. Ari was spotted out. Sayush comes in to help block him out a bit. Ari will drop. Mana Drain does not go through fog as Sayush is found out in the trees. Notice an FNG are going to back him up though, focusing on Seb for the time being, but. See Ari with that sharpshooter. They're going to be able to delete Sayush to start things out. Seb is still alive. Pulverize into the boat as Whisper has come as well. But the impetus destroying BZM has to run away. Attempting to TP out will not get out in time. So it's a one for one as Whisper's still up and running. As Tomato has come again. There's the Eclipse to take out FNG. Can't find a connection on a second as noticed. Takes out Seb finally. I think that was a 50-50 between. Oh, actually, no. Kunkka is just farming so well he actually was not in. The 50-50 there. Damn. As we see, notice with the Dragon Tail. TP not going to come through for the Nature's Prophet. Ari going to turn this around. He's got baited. Yeah, miscommunication from VP. And he's going to turn around to a kill onto Notice instead. And it's not just any DK. He's the top net worth on their team right now. Yeah, getting there is difficult. I guess is what you're saying. So I guess in a way, yes. Cinderin laughed five, in my face when I said it's, it's OK on Sniper. And we did see it this tournament. It's Sayush. Is spotted out by Ari. Sharpshooter's going to be there with BZM. Are you talking about that Eggs game? Yeah. I think Eggs in that game was good. And Kondo was the natural progression. BP. Oh, they spot out Tomato. This would be a huge kill. And Pale's not going to be there for a set because of the BKBs. And Tomato is done. Yeah. Big oh. kill for VP. It's been a while since they've gotten a valuable one. It's got the Eternal Shroud and the Gossamer's Cape. Oh. They look exactly the same. That's not, I should actually, they actually do look that. Very BZM is spotted. He's stunned up already at half HP. The waveform in as well gets off the Blade Mail. And the Pulverize is coming through. A lot of damage as Kiritich dies first somehow. BZM eventually does fall, but it costs them three now. And there's all cores for VP. And Sayush. He's been dying a lot this game. That is the way of nature's profit in this patch, it feels like. Triple kill for Tomato, and Seb even finds the fifth member in FNG. We'll be sucking him from afar. Boomerang from Ari, enough to get a full team wipe. 7k to OG Tomato with the damage rune. Has the Conda, has the Aegis. Notice, gonna pop the DK for him. Tomato is spotted. The rune. Take a right click from FNG, but here comes BZM to pulverize onto the morph. Squadix trying to focus on the supports in the back. As he waveforms in, forced to use his BKB, turns into Luna, and Squadix able to take out Ari at the very least. So VP not fully punished. Seb. Give him that stack. Yeah, he wants to save that finger just in case. Get that oh, no. stack. You need the right click. Was it fast enough? Oh, I don't Doesn't think look so. Like it. Oh, that's depression mode. That was all from the gank on the Ember Spirit, where yeah. he got away. And oh, looked fine. TP. Seb trying to delay as long as possible. Noticed. Being slowed by the many mechanics added on to that mana drain over time. Notice will now BKB, BZM. Good dodge. It does Ooh. dodge the sharpshooter. <laughs> that was really close. Oh, and it could they, turn into a fight. Uh, they're still set up. This yep, is so wild. Oh, he gets silenced, but the boat comes out along with the bloodstone. Will it heal enough? No. He's taking tons of damage. The impetus is just destroying him. Finally, the Kunkka will fall, but he gets off the Torn Storm just in time as BZM focusing on the Dragon Knight. Squadix on the back line will be able to be We'll be able to get out, but notice, not going to have the same privilege. So two dead, including that Enchantress for VP. If he can get it done before the game's over, he might win too fast. I don't know if he's going to make it. True. Although VP has something to say about that. Their smoke already gets popped as BZM. Will be spotted. Pops the uproar. Going to be really hard to take out now. It has the Aghanim Scepter, of course, as the boat comes in on top of FNG and the Dragon Knight. FNG is dead. No way to get back in the game. BZM with that shield rune still intact will pound upon the tower i mean they just lost pure damage i morphling's definitely not ready yet it's ten thousand gold behind luna 
At they best, have they to do something. This kill is the, the time. Kiritich jumps in. He's already at half HP. The Eclipse coming through for Tomato. Getting four staffed to the other side. He's getting pretty damn low. Lucent Beam is there. It gets four staffed again, but the Pulverize keeping the Morphling in place. Tomato finally does drop. Can VP win this fight? They lose their Morphling, though, as Whisper is super low. Sharpshooter there, but Squadix is the one cleaning up. He gets a triple kill on the Ember Spirit as BZM stunned up now. There's the Sprout from Sayuch. Ultra kill Squadix. All right. Much needed win fight for VP. It was. I mean, OG could just wait out the Dragon for him. It's a pretty big aspect of this VP line. He's going to get some vision from the trees. There's the smoke. VP want to fight. BZM is who they see. The Rock Throw actually hits onto the Dragon Knight. Gleipnir as well. BZM going with the Onslaught, canceling it though. So they really want to wait this out as the Pulverize connecting basically on three heroes. Pretty good. Running out the uppers. Tomato with the Eclipse, focusing everything onto Kitrich. He does have the BKB activated, still taking massive damage along with Notice. And now VP, they lose their Enchi, buys back. And looks like the Morphling will get cleaned up. 80 seconds, he is dead. And the Enchi, that's a dieback. So OG continuing to try to clean up on the outskirts of this fight, but they could just secure Roche now. Man, these glaives are just so good against these blink heroes, because if you get close to initiating, you get a bounce on you, and all of a sudden you just got to wait three seconds, and yeah, just kind of rinse repeat here. Tomato is getting low, so there's a little... Uh, uh, j j just kidding, it's over. Satanic, yep, good stuff. All right, he doesn't have Satanic now, though. That is true, inside the Sprout. That, that's one way to prevent him from hitting your barracks, but he Manta's out. Oh. Look at the damage onto the Ench. It gets X back into the boat. That is a dead Ench for sure. Tomato in the meantime, no Satanic, but he does pop the Eclipse. Morphling attribute shifting with the BKB. The Pulverize is on top. They're not doing any damage though. Tomato is taking the brunt. That is the Aegis. We'll be back shortly. Seb buys back instantly as the Torrent into the Lucent Beam onto Kittredge. He's gonna have to back up now. We'll have to fully reset in all likelihood. That just means Tomato can focus on the buildings if he wants, but he's chasing for the time being. We get the X into the torrent, into the Lucent Beam with the Conda. Down goes Notice. There's the fortification. But Tomato and company should be able to secure Megas, or they can just try to go for Throne, I suppose. But there is just one melee Rax remaining in the bot. DK buys back, but no Dragon form. This has to be the last stand for VP. Notice goes in with the Dragon Tail. EZM with the Onslaught gets the stun. Lucent Beam as well. Pulverize on top as the Ember is taking massive damage. We'll try to go in, but looks like Sayush gets killed off in the meantime. Oh, the bounce! Buys back instantly. FNG will drop. And this will be Mega Creeps for OG. As BZM gets Searing Chains mid Onslaught. And now Tomato can work on the Tier 4 towers. As VP running out of steam quickly, the tier four is already evaporating, the ancient fully exposed. Noticed? Okay, adaptive strike applied. That's a lot of damage to Tomato. He pops the satanic. Not able to really right click too much though, but the pulverize coming in for BZ. A beautiful torrent as well. Morphling is dead. And so are VP, as they call GG out of this one. They are eliminated from Dream League, which means gaming gladiators and OG will move on to the next stage.